Hello, everyone, and a happy new year. I'm glad to report uh, our results for the quarter at the beginning of uh, this year. And uh, I hope it's a much more healthier year compared to the previous one for a lot of us. Uh, so starting with our overall numbers, I think the numbers came, on, came in quite, uh, quite ahead of our estimates. Uh, our top line grew 6%. Our bottom line report, EBITDA reported about 22.7%. That's broadly in our range uh, that we had guided the market uh, right at the beginning. So coming to specifics, I think our One India trajectory is uh, continuing to show great growth. Even in our prescription business without COVID, we grew by almost 16%. Overall reported numbers are 13% in the One India, in the overall One India base. Lots of momentum around product launches uh, in this market. Lots of momentum around being able to service customers in different parts of the country. Um, and lots of momentum around a wellness theme and how the wellness theme is growing across the range of our three businesses whether it is in uh, in our prescription business, in our consumer business, or in our generics business. So great set of numbers there. The U.S. has accomplished a significant milestone of reaching $150 million. I believe this is, uh, this is significant for us. We started the U.S. journey where we used to be $100 million or less than that. Uh, sometime back, I think there's been a steady increase and lots of unlocking of niche limited op competition opportunities. Uh, and I think that's going a long way. We are excited about a pipeline that's lined up. And of course, that pipeline requires a significant amount of co collaboration from our manufacturing colleagues, our R&D colleagues, uh, and our quality teams. And I think it's, the, it's on the crux of their work, dedication, and effort that the U.S. Uh, pipeline can be unlocked, both in the U.S. as well as in, in the European Union. Uh, so good set of numbers there. The emerging markets in EU uh, holding up uh, with the number base there. And hopefully in the next year, we'll see many more launches uh, for our emerging market franchise. And if you look at Saga, I think the private market growth is again in a beat over the market. Uh, we've grown our private market significantly. Um, overall, Saga still probably flattish, slightly marginally declined from the previous year, but uh, private market in, the, in South Africa looking very, very strong. And the API business uh, coming in at about uh, close to $20 million, slightly lower than the previous year because we had bunched up supplies uh, for a contract with a certain customer. Uh, so I think overall, a good set of numbers are EBITDA and range. Um, I'd like to applaud the spirit of Sipler. Lots of new things we got covered in the uh, Dow Jones Sustainability Index for our recognition of our work around ESG. Uh, we've got uh, awards for financial excellence and governance reporting. Um, and I think some of our key executives like Kedar and Raju have been nominated uh, for their respective roles as CFO and CHRO. So, a lot of great work. I think our strategic priority is around uh, wellness, around uh, the respiratory expansion uh, outside of India, broadening of our lung leadership capabilities, as well as the unlocking of the limited competition pipeline. Uh, these continue to take center stage and uh, we'll be in touch with you as we progress the year. Uh, wishes for all of you to stay healthy and happy. Thank you.